Welcome back. This is the second video in my vertical video workshop, and in this video I'm going to be talking about vertical concept ideation, along with the best practices to keep in mind when you're shooting original vertical video. If you haven't seen the first video in this series already, I'd highly recommend doing so, but in either case, the time to get started is now, so let's get started. When you're brainstorming ideas for vertical video, there are a few things you're definitely going to want to keep in mind, and the first of those is to know the purpose of the content you're creating. By this I mean you have to know what your content is trying to accomplish. Are you trying to make your viewer laugh? Are you trying to inform them? Are you trying to advertise something? Knowing the answer to this question is going to inform every other creative decision that you make. Secondly, you're going to want to know who your target audience is and where you can find them online. I recommend doing this by creating an imaginary profile of your ideal viewer, using characteristics like their age, their personality, their likes and dislikes, and most importantly, what they spend their time doing. This will help you determine what social platform you can most easily reach them on. Generally speaking, you'll find a younger audience on TikTok than you will on Instagram. Once you've identified the social platform you're creating for, you can start thinking about the tone of your content. Ask yourself, are you producing content for an individual or a brand? In either case, how does your client wish to be viewed, and what does your client's audience expect from them? If you design something that's too far outside of those expectations, no one's going to end up happy, so it's definitely worth thinking about. Finally, you'll want to consider the unique design elements of the social platform you're creating for. Remember that all the platforms are different and that they all have their own varieties of vertical content. Maybe an asset you're designing could make use of the poll feature in Instagram, or the duet feature in TikTok. Maybe the 9 by 16 aspect ratio of IGTV works better for you than the 4 by 5 aspect ratio of a standard Instagram video. The point is that you're going to want to tailor your ideas to the strengths of your individual platform as much as possible. And on that note, let's get into physical production. There are several technical considerations you'll want to keep in mind when you're shooting vertical video, and the very first of those is to know your aspect ratios. Vertical video can be shot by turning your camera sideways, or it can be created in post by scaling and or cropping horizontal video to fit a vertical frame. In either case, you'll want to know what aspect ratio you need for your final asset to ensure that your filmed subjects remain within the area your viewer will see. A good compromise is to shoot 4K horizontally, which many smartphones and tablets already do, and then crop in the sides to 9x16, which won't need to be scaled. This will actually give you extra pixels to work with above and below the 9x16 frame, which you can then use to reposition as you prefer. It also allows you to keep the full horizontal footage to use for multi-platform content suites, which I'll get into a little later. Second, you're going to want to avoid fast side-to-side -side movements. Shaky camera movements are almost always unwanted and distracting to people who are watching a video. Since vertical video has so little screen real estate on the sides, it's really, really important that you try to avoid moving the camera from side to side too fast. Normal pans and 360 rotations are acceptable and can actually be very important to show a scene, but once they become too fast, the camera and even our brain can't keep up with the information. Third, you're going to want to vary your camera angles and shot types. Filming vertically doesn't mean that everything needs to be shot at arm's length and eye level. Do your best to mix up your shot sizes and camera angles to make your videos more interesting, and work within the frame to create something unique as much as possible. If you're doing something like an interview or a vlog style video, you can try breaking up the on-camera talking with a more engaging close-up of the subject's face. Fourth, control your distance from the subject. One of the biggest positives to shooting with a vertical frame is the fact that you can get closer to vertical-friendly subjects, creating a more intimate, immersive experience. However, make sure to leave some space in the frame for built-in text from the user interface of different platforms. You might also require this space for graphic elements that you intend to add in post. A good rule of thumb is to not put anything too close to the edges of the frame, especially on the top and the bottom. And that actually brings us to number five, the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is a photography rule that says not to place the main subject directly in the center of your frame. Instead, you can create more dynamic and interesting compositions if you draw imaginary horizontal and vertical lines that divide your frame into thirds, then place your subject either on those lines or where the lines meet up. Most cameras and phones even give you the option to add a grid to the screen to use as a guide, so take advantage of it when you can. Finally, consider splitting your screen. When you divide a vertical frame, either in half or into a grid, you can tell stories in a new way by presenting multiple streams of information. Maybe you want to compare and contrast two videos, or maybe you want to show the same subject from multiple perspectives. In either case, you're just going to want to shoot with a post-production plan in mind so that you can frame up your subjects accordingly. And that's it. Those are some of my thoughts about vertical concept ideation and the best practices for shooting original vertical video. In my next workshop video, I will touch upon adapting existing media into exciting new vertical content, and the software tips and tricks that'll help you really shine in this field. 
I'm looking forward to it and I hope to see you there. So until then.